Welcome to Mikon's hardware. I already have a detailed instruction how to apply Turbo Boost Unlock Hack on Intel LJ2011 version 3 platform using Xeon E5 V3 CPUs. Still, people are constantly asking me how to perform Turbo Boost Unlock, why do I need to do that, what is CPU undervolting, how do I do CPU undervolting, why this BIOS is not working with this motherboard, how do I do this, how do I do that. It takes me a lot of time to answer all of these questions, that's why I have decided to make a small program which will do the job for me. In this video I'm going to announce you my program called Mi899. It is absolutely free and open source. You can download it and browse source code on GitHub. The application is developed using .NET Core framework and c -sharp language. Thus, if you would like to contribute, you're welcome. Alright, to get started go by the link provided in the video description and download the latest version of Mi 899. At the moment is 1.0.0, but in the future I plan to add more information about different other motherboards as well as different BIOS modifications. On the download page you have to download the archive which contains the application, in this case it's Mi 899-100.zip. Click the file name and wait until the file downloads. Once the download has completed, you have to unblock the archive. For this, right-click on the file, select Properties. In the bottom right corner, there will be a checkbox called Unblock. Check this Unblock checkbox. After that, click Apply. Then click OK. Now it's time to unzip the archive. You can use any tool you like. You can also use built-in Windows features. In my case, I'm going to use WinRAR. And just right-click on the archive and extract to a folder. Once instructed, you have to navigate into the folder. Here you will see a bunch of additional files which are required for a .NET Core application to successfully run on Windows platform. But we are looking for the mi899.exe file. Start the application by double-clicking the file. If you have a semi-decent monitor, you can expand the window of mi899 to see more information and more controls. Right now the application is available in two languages. One is English, another one is Ukrainian. But if you are speaking any other language, for example Portuguese, Spanish or Italian, I would really appreciate if you can help me translate it to these languages. Of course you have to read the read me and understand that I am not responsible for any possible consequences with this application. I am also a human and I am making my own errors. It may happen that I have used some wrong or corrupted BIOS and your motherboard will get pricked after you flash it. Thus you shall understand that you are the only one responsible for your actions, please do your research and understand what exactly and why you are doing. If you understand the responsibility and ready to move on, let's take a look how to use Mi 899. At the top menu there is Explore menu item, which you can open and navigate to the motherboards. Here is a list of already added motherboards into Mi 899. In the future I plan to add many more motherboards, but right now there are only a few, the most popular ones. Let's select Tinsha X99 D8, it's the motherboard which I use on my personal computer. Here you can see some basic information about the motherboard. You can also navigate to the Images tab, take a look at a few images of the motherboard, as well as click on this link and open the image. On the BIOS tab, you will find list of compatible BIOSes, and as you can see, Huanangzhi X99 TF, Huanangzhi X99 F8, and Tinsha X99 D8 BIOSes are listed here, because all of these options are compatible with the Tinsha X99 D8 motherboard. Additionally, there is a tab called Links, and here you will find all relevant links for this motherboard. In this particular case, there are only two links. One is for the official Tinsha page for the X99 D8 motherboard, and the other one is my YouTube review for this motherboard. If you are sure that this is your motherboard and you are ready to start actions, go back to the Info tab. Here is a small section called Tools. There you will find tools which are compatible with your motherboard or with the motherboard which is currently selected. In this particular case, it's FPT or Flash Programming Tool. In other cases, if FPT is not compatible, it will be of a win. Let's click on FPT, which moves us to the page to read and write BIOS. It's important to understand that Mi 899 does not read or write your motherboard BIOS. It doesn't do anything with your motherboard, it does not check motherboard compatibility, it does not check the BIOS compatibility. Mi 899 is only preparing required files, required tools and a script to execute your desired action. In this case, you can click Dump Current BIOS button. 
and me899 will prepare a temporary folder with fpt files as well as dump.bat script. To execute the script you have to right click on it and select run as administrator. In some other languages it will be some other title, but you need to run the script as administrator, otherwise you will not be able to read or write the bias. The script will read the motherboard bias and save it to a file, so just wait for the completion. Once completed, you can see that the file is named js-x99-d8-current-date. You can close this window and go back to the files, and here you will find one extra file, which is your motherboard bias. So this is your backup. To flush a bias on your motherboard, you have to select your desired option first. This is possible to do in the left side of the form. In the BIOS dropdown, there are a few possible options which are compatible with the selected motherboard. For example, if you would like to unlock Turbo Boost for your Xeon E5 2678V3, I would recommend BIOS from Huanan GX99 F8 with a CPU voltage reduction by 70 mV. Let's select this bias. Here you can see additional information about the bias. In this case, I have optimized the bias values to the best possible options according to me. CPU voltage was reduced by 70 mV, integrated memory controller voltage reduced by 50 mV, and Turbo Boost Unlock Driver is available here. In this window you can see which tool will be used to flush that BIOS onto your motherboard. Once you are ready and sure that this is all compatible with your motherboard, you can click Flash Selected BIOS. The same as Dump Current BIOS, this button will prepare a temporary folder with all required files for FPT program, as well as a script called flash.bat. Because I have LRDP form Turbo Boost Unlock on my motherboard, I'm not going to execute this script, but let's take a look inside. For this you can right-click and select either Edit, and I'm going to edit with Notepad++. This is how the script looks like. It navigates to the temporary folder, and after that it executes FPT command. Here it provides hyphen F flag, as well as BIOS file name. In this particular case, it's one on GX99, F8, TU, FFS driver name, and then Mi8, which stays for Mi const optimized BIOS settings. That's it. You have to execute this script the same way, right-click, and then run as administrator. Additionally, I can say that if you are using motherboard from Tinsha, for example X99 D8 or D4, you have to go to the BIOS and disable BIOS lock. Mi899 is not able to modify your BIOS settings and is not going to do that. If you have the BIOS lock enabled, FPT will not be able to read or write the BIOS. Mi899 also does not validate if the BIOS read or write was successful. You have to do it yourself. Mi899 is only preparing convenient scripts and files for you to execute your desired actions. Let's take a look at the entire process once again. Let's go back to the list of motherboards by clicking Explore, Motherboards. This time let's select Machinist X99Z, which does not support FPT. That's why many people are afraid to buy it or afraid to perform Turbo Boost Unlock procedure since it's a bit more complicated to use off of Win. Here you can see that instead of FPT, this links points to off of Win, which is going to be used to read and write BIOS. The same as Tinsha X99 D8, we have all available tabs as well. Images, biases, links. Let's click on the off of Win tool. And we are back to the BIOS flush form. Here we can do exactly the same thing, click dump current BIOS. This time you can see that instead of FPT files, Mi899 prepares you a temporary folder using alpha win files. Let's open dump.bat file and take a look. Once again, you can see that nothing extra is executed except of single alpha win.exe command to create a backup of your BIOS. The same applies if you click flash selected BIOS. Of course, first you have to select your desired BIOS in the left side of the form. Here I have prepared a bunch of compatible Machinist X99Z files. For example, for Xeon E5 2620V3, I would recommend Turbo Boost Unlock with the minus 50 mV offset. This, let's take a look at this BIOS. Mi const optimized BIOS settings, unlocked RAM timings, minus 50 mV CPU voltage, minus 50 mV IMC voltage, and this particular FFS driver is injected into this BIOS. Click in Flash Selected BIOS and get in one more temporary folder with all required files for Afro Win as well as the BIOS itself and flash.bat script. Here is the content of the script. To flush this BIOS onto the motherboard, you need to right-click and run it as administrator. 
That's basically all you need to know about me 899, but if you would like to help me with the development and contribute to the project, then you have a few options. The easiest one is you can help me translate the application into different languages. Right now I'm looking for Polish, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese translations. You can also help me with providing different information about different motherboards and BIOS modifications. Of course you can report an issue or a bug with Mi 899 and help me with testing. And lastly you can buy me a bottle of beer or a cup of coffee using PayPal. For now though that's all I have for you. I hope Mi 899 will help you unlock your Turbo Boost. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, goodbye.